fast, fair. Fox Toledo News. First at 10 starts right now. First at 10. Mayor Cardi Finkbeiner's not exactly sure what he'll do when he leaves the 22nd floor, but... I cannot envision myself being any place other than Northwest Ohio City of Toledo and a cheerleader for both. Okay, so at this point, Toledo is not losing its cheerleader, but the specifics of Cardi's post-mayoral life are still uncertain. Our Barrett Andrews sat down for a one-on-one interview with him. He is live with what the mayor's priorities are now. Well, Cardi told me he plans on spending more time with his family, friends, and helping out at his church, the kind of stuff he had to push aside a little bit to run the city. But our conversation wasn't just about the future. So let's start with his proudest moments. Flashback to three years ago as intense rain pounded the city and created an especially devastating situation for some people in West Toledo. When I'm standing along with uh, fellow employees of the city of Toledo on Crawford Street and the rain is pouring down and people's basements have been flooded uh, twice already and we're putting sandbags down on a Friday night until beyond midnight with the neighbors uh, in, a ter- in a pouring down rain situation that did keep those basements. I was phenomenally proud of. His other proud moment, he said, was arriving home recently to find out in the past four years Toledo has seen more economic development. But economic development is also a sticking point as the mayor would have liked to see the Marina District and Southwick take shape while he was at the rains. I think both projects are going to happen. I think the Marina District is going to happen more quickly than is Southwick going to happen, but it will happen now that the land is cleaned up out there. He thinks the Marina District will happen sooner because a big step, he says he's been told, should happen within the next few weeks. We have been told by Larry Dillon that the money is en route from out-of-country locations to him to plunk down for his purchase of the 48 acres of the Marina District. Looking once again at the future, the mayor really didn't nail down any plans. I love this city, I believe in this city, and I have a lot of good friends in this city, so I I cannot envision myself being any place other than Northwest Ohio City of Toledo and a cheerleader for both. The only thing that could change that was if some opportunity to help people at a uh, level rather than the regional level of Northwest Ohio presented itself. Now he didn't really elaborate on that, but in all, Cardi told me he doesn't have any regrets and that throughout his career he's been focused on the long-term effects of his decisions. Specifically, he mentioned the changes in garbage services in Toledo that he believes people will learn to appreciate when it's saving the city millions of dollars a year. We're live tonight. Barrett Andrews, Fox Toledo News, first to ten. All right, thanks for that report, Barrett. So what will you remember most about Cardi Finkbeiner's time in office? That's our feedback question tonight. Here are some of the comments from our Facebook page. Bob said, I don't think he quite knew what he was setting himself up for when he decided he wanted a shower stall in his office. Robert says, all of the good work he has done. Stephen wrote, don't forget his proposal to move deaf people out by the airport. That was priceless. And Judy says the list is long. His shower, the treatment of his dog, him mowing the grass, the budget. Give us your feedback. Go to Facebook, Twitter, or send us an email. Of course, with the departure of Cardi comes the arrival of the city's next mayor. Mike Bell will be sworn in January 4th in the courtyard of Cousineau's Navy Bistro, and Fox Toledo will be there to cover it live. We will carry the swearing-in ceremony live on our air. It'll start at 3 o'clock. We will also stream it live on foxtoledo.com.